learning more tonight about what led to a driver crashing into the Children's Nest daycare early this afternoon. Virginia State Police say three people were taken to the hospital, including a child, but thankfully we're hearing tonight they will all be okay. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich shares the moment that families were reunited after hearing a call they thought they would never get. I just had to come get my daughter. That was the only thing on my mind. Parents reunited with their kids. The warm embrace of a hug. As a car is pulled from inside the Children's Nest Daycare in Botetourt County Tuesday afternoon. Virginia State Police say a woman's foot got stuck under the pedals in her car, causing the vehicle to ram into the building. Officials at the scene say four people were injured, three taken to the hospital, one of them being an eight-month-old child. 10 News was able to speak to the grandmother of the child as she picked up one of her other grandkids. I'm tore up, yeah. thinking, is my baby okay? Yeah, do you know kind of the extent of any They injuries? said she's doing all right, said she's got a cut in her head, but she's doing okay. Botetourt County's emergency manager, Daniel Murray, knows firsthand how important it was to notify parents. As a parent myself, it's very scary to get that phone call. Uh, that was the one of the first things that we did once we got here was once we got everybody out of the building, we started making phone calls to the parents. It's a call parents would never think they'd get. For Alicia Johnston, the call meant only one thing, get to her three-year-old daughter, Madeline. It's instinct. The only thing on my mind is making sure she's safe, right? The moment Johnston finally picked up Madeline, the three-year-old had a big smile across her face. Uh, really, just joy that to have her in my arms. Virginia State Police say the driver is being charged with reckless driving. Parents tell 10 News the car went through the part of the building where the babies sleep. They're calling it a miracle. Nothing worse happened. In Botetourt County, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.